What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Nightfall and a weekly Crucible loot from this past week on all three of my characters. So this past week's Nightfall was the Sunless Cell Strike with Alakul once again. We had Small Arms as one of the modifiers as well as Exposure and No Radar and stuff like that. Not too bad overall, pretty chill even though Exposure was one of the modifiers, not one of my favorite ones. But Small Arm allows you to deal out a bunch of damage with your primary on all the adds as well as the boss. So pretty chill, but let's get into my loot from this week. So starting off with my first character on my Hunter for this first Nightfall drop of the week. I got a ghost shell, so we got the vanguard shell. Pretty unlucky, definitely a bad drop on that first one. And then going into my next character on my warlock for this one. On the second nightfall, I got another legendary this time. It was a hand cannon down in doubt. I believe that is the vanguard one. Not a fan of the stats on that one though. And then for my last nightfall drop on my titan for this last one of the week. I got another legendary and this time it was the Havoc Pigeon Sidearm. So pretty unlucky, three legendary drops, not very good. And then moving on to my weekly Crucible loot for this first one, I got another Party Crasher plus one shotgun. This one came in at 335 with the perks Crowd Control and Replenish. Down the middle we got Fitted Stock, a Rifled Barrel, and Flared Magwell. Also the scopes we got Accurize and Aggressive Ballistic. So pretty decent Rifled Barrel along with uh, the Accurize and Aggressive Ballistic perks, really good for the range. I think you can max out range on that one, so not too bad overall. And then moving on to my next Crucible drop of the week for this second one. We got an Exotic this time, and we got the Armamentarium Exotic chess piece for the Titan. Came in at 335 defense with full discipline on it, so pretty good. It's definitely one of my favorite Exotics from Year 1 and Year 2, since it came into Year 2 as well. And definitely one of the best ones also, in, in my opinion, in both PvP and PvE, giving you an extra grenade. So I'm probably going to utilize it going into Rise of Iron as well. And then finally, for my last Crucible drop of the week for this one, we got another shotgun in times of need is the name of this one. 335 with the perks, Rescue Mag, and Last Resort. Down the middle, we got High Caliber Rounds, Quick Draw, and a Flare to Magwell. Not very good perks on this one, and also not very good stats. In comparison to the Party Crasher plus one that we got earlier, so probably going to end up dismantling that one. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, we're about a couple weeks away from a Rise of Iron. A very exciting stuff. Can't wait for the DLC to come out and we're going to get more stuff to play, more content. And I'm going to be uploading more new content as well with Rise of Iron. So stay tuned for all of that. Thank you guys for watching once again. I appreciate each and every one of you. For all the new subscribers, welcome. For all the uh, continuous subscribers, thank you for supporting me all this time. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace!